All right, who remembers Electric Circus? It was a live TV show that was pretty much a party from downtown Toronto. They had DJs, performers, dancers, and it aired on Much Music and City TV every weekend from 1988 to 2003. The show had a really catchy theme song that went like Okay, I'll stop. What does it say? DJ come with a tune? Is that what it's saying? All right, let's go back to one of the early shows from 1989. This is how they started the show, and uh, this is, I don't even remember this. This is totally different than the Electric Circus I remember. Let's see how they start the show. It's the Electric Circus. Jeez, look at that logo. Featuring the fashions of Alexander Rita. Hardcore hip hop performers be cool and DJ Hardcore Havoc. Hardcore hip hop. And of course, the E. What is Hardcore hip hop? Now, television's two most gorgeous hosts, Monica Diol and George Lagajanis. Wait, hold on. What? George Lagajanis was the host of the show? Hold on. This guy's on CP24, right? Wow, I didn't even know that. I just thought he was on CP24. I think he actually just retired from CP24 recently, too. I want to know how much they paid off daily to say that. Unbelievable. Well, that's a great way to start the show off. Pump, pump it, pump it, pump it. Jeez, look at this cowboy. This guy's got the moves. This is the electric circus that I remember. All the 90s Euro dance artists performing live. The Euro scene was huge in Toronto. Here's Amber. Another amazing artist that performed was MJ. Even Eiffel 65 performed on Electric Circuit. Look at that crowd for Eiffel 65, wow. They even had the Venga Boys performing, but I don't know any of the songs they performed. Like, look at this, let's skim through this. Venga Boys, here we go! For the Venga, Venga Boys! Venga boys, but there's two girls. Here we go. Come on. They even had Aqua performing Barbie Girl live on Electric Circus. Look at that crowd outside. It's like packed for Aqua. Jeez. This was the prime of the Eurodance days back in the day. Jeez, they got people singing outside. Wow. So I was watching clips from Electric Circus and I saw this video with this DJ that had the nicest mustache that I had ever seen. I knew I had to get this guy on and help me out with this video. Hey, what's up, Nick Fiorucci? I don't know what's more awesome, the fact that you were on Electric Circus so many times or that mustache that you had on the show. That mustache was amazing. Yeah. I'm jealous yeah, of that and little funny, thin mustache. I just brought back the, uh, the goatee recently. <laughs> Electric Circus, man, honestly, people, I remember, you know, going back to like early 90s, dude, like when I started and I was invited there a lot. I knew the producer. It just had this buzz about it that started because, you know, people like to watch people, you know? And that yeah. was the big premise of the show. Other than the musical aspect and doing, you know, top 10 videos and, and dance, uh, you know, premiering dance stuff and a lot of dance videos that you wouldn't see on the traditional Much Music stream. But the most, like, what was attractive is that people would, tune in to see other people dancing and it was like a really diverse crowd you know and it was live they would tape it live on friday it would it would show live and then they would do the repeats like twice on a saturday i think twice on a sunday or once on the sunday but it would repeat throughout the weekend i mean it became this massive cult following all right here's a clip of chris shepherd on electric circus look at him he's just making a mess of the place 
taking control. Wait, I, Come I on, took some martial arts. Here. Please welcome. Look at George taking Edward, control. Putting him in a chokehold. Lay off, will ya? I am taking your toy away. You just went on a holiday. Where? Where was that? We were in Jamaica. We were freaking out. We were smoking cheap and going crazy. Yeah. Go crazy. We were freaking out. Go crazy. Come on. Everybody's done a Chris Shepard imitation at some point. What's, what's up? Yeah, we just like the track you just heard. Two Unlimited, number one on EC, is on the Techno Trick LP. When you're buying your Evian water, when you're buying your Vicks Vapor Rub, you can pick up that compact uh -huh. disc at your favorite store. All right, I'm going to go to my favorite store. I'm going to pick up my Evian water. When you're buying your Evian water. My Vicks VapoRub. When you're buying your Vicks VapoRub. And uh, I'm going to ask for the CD. Let's see how this goes. Do you have Chris Shepard's Techno Trip CD? Are you crazy? Bloody no! They would do a chart of like what's big in the dance scene, like videos, right? Dance videos. They'd have big featured guest DJs. It was like taking a club public and watching people dance and everybody had their thing. There was a bunch of regulars and it was fun, man. It was like, like I said, a real diverse crowd and there was a lot of regulars. So they became actually, you know, it, it was reality show. They become popular, right? You'd be stopped yeah. on the street. Hey, you're an electric circus dancer. And, and I'd be the same thing with me. I'd be like, yeah, hey, you're the DJ on electric circus. I was one of the original dancers from Electric Circus in uh, 1994 to 2003 when the show ended. Not only did it bring communities together and um, spiritually brighten my life for sure, but it opened up some doors and kind of set the momentum to keep me going as an entertainer. It also uh, brought together some new friendships and uh, being on TV, I mean, everybody wanted to be on TV at that time anyways. It was watched by so many people across the country and it became, it, you know, speaking of viral, it became viral and it was like a big deal, you know? And it was fun, it was fun, man. It was like, all right, we're going live. Everybody would be stretching and all the dancers would come and they're all they got makeup and different outfits and costumes and all this stuff. And they're like, they know they're gonna be taped live and you're just doing your thing, you know, you're voguing, you're doing whatever. <laughs> and. Uh, and they, you know, there was some popular guys that uh, that became infamous for their for their dance moves, right? They were starting the stuff, and there was a bunch of hosts that they went through the years. I mean, Monica Dio was a big one. Juliet Powell, yeah. Michael Williams was one of the first guys. You know, it started a bunch of careers, man. You know, even as DJs, yeah. you know, I would get gigs based on the fact that I was on Electric Circus. People would hear me and so forth. You know. I was probably once a month kind of resident. There was a bunch of DJs that were were rotating as as you know quote unquote residents, but then they'd bring in guests, um, international guests. So let's say there's an international DJ guest in town, they would get them on Electric Circuit. It was the the place to be, you know, and promote the gig, promote the you know. So they do the Friday night. Hey, I'm you know I'm playing at so forth on the Saturday night. That kind of thing. You know, much music live on queen street at the doors open. you know the doors open. people would line up to just watch the dancers outside it was all like live man it was like you know it was great dancers would just freestyle most dancers would be solo you know they just do their thing and back then it was different moves and this and that and they like start dance trends man like literally you know there was guys that became popular from you know from that show and uh, and a lot of artists got, got uh, launched from that show. A lot of music got broken from that show. And the good thing is, again, it would repeat throughout the weekend. So if you missed it on yeah. the Friday night, you would you catch it on the weekend. Did they ever tell you what to play? No. And that was the beauty of the show, right? Is that the DJ would play whatever the DJ wanted to play. It would play their style, play their own record. And of course, they had their video programming and, and, and stuff yeah. like that. But you'd play in between the clips, right? So they'd go to break, they'd do an interview, they'd be dancing, you know, uh, and the DJ would just like kind of filler kind of thing when they were playing videos you'd be cut to your to your track and then back to a video and yeah it was fun man it was a lot of fun it was right on the uh on the first floor of the much music building right on queen and so yeah. they have a glass window so you could see right through so you could see all the dancers and then they would open the windows and there'd be people popping in and they yeah <laughs> have like fencing and all that stuff because it became that big there'd be thousands of people on the street man like yeah kids wanted to go see the artists, whatever artist was, you know, set to perform coming up and it became like a concert thing, you know, and then they cut to the dancers and yeah, it was fun, man. 
All right, so this is like in 1990. This is before all the dance music took over. I don't even remember this. This was like... Look at this. They got Shabaranks on Electric Circus. He's performing. Look at that logo. That Electric Circus logo is old school too. I don't even remember that. But you know what? Look how Shabba's holding the mic. Like, hold on. Am I doing it right? I've, I've never seen anybody hold... I've never seen anybody hold a mic like that. Is he like smoking the mic? He's kind of going like this. Shaba Shaba Do you remember anything from the early days? Because I, I don't remember anything, but I saw like they literally had like Shaba ranks and more like hip hop, urban, reggae stuff, a different yeah. logo. Like, like, yeah. do you remember that time? And what was the transition uh, to like dance music or like, like, I don't remember any of that. It was all it was always dance music. Dance music back then was like not as segmented as it is now, right? If dance was dance, right? So it was, you know, yeah. pretty much commercial, whether it was Euro, whether it was housey, whether it was poppy, you know, whether it was someone like a Britney Spears or whether it was someone like uh Darude or something like that. It was all dance. All right, speaking of Darude, here's a clip of him on Electric Circus. Let's go. <laughs> got an MC with them. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put our hands up. Let's go. It's on fire. I'm surprised he has an MC with them. I wonder if that's from uh, like Electric Circus or if that's his guy. Oh, he's got the piano, wow. Is this guy doing scratching noises with his mouth? Wow. Where did you get the name Da Rude from? Uh, it's a long story, but I was playing this track called Rude Boys like seven times in a row because I had these, well, happy and bit maybe tipsy feelings one night. And uh, my friend started calling me Rude Boy after that. Oh, okay. <laughs> da Rude in the house so this guy's name is darude because his friends called him darude boy wow that that's that's interesting is mc making the synth noises from his mouth there he is am i good did I nail it? Winterlude was this, this huge one in Ottawa that they would do in the winter, and it was crazy. And then the Canada's Wonderland. Canada's Wonderland, if I remember correctly, was in the tens of thousands of people, like right in front of the big yeah. mountain, Wonderland, yeah. like a sea of people. Wow, look at all the people. This is insane. Look at all the people on stage too. Jeez. Wow, they had Alice DJ performing. That's crazy. Wow, Alice DJ was amazing, but they also had the greatest boy band of all time headlining. Look at the girls going nuts. The greatest boy band of all time. Let's go. I'm excited. Remember, it's these guys. How big were these guys for at least a couple of years? Hold on, do you think these people actually get the lyrics? If you get down on me, I'll get down on you. Or they're just singing it and they're kids and they just don't know. 
Who knows? All right, who remembers the wrestler China? Apparently, she just showed up one night on Electric Circus. She, she was promoting her book in Toronto and just well, this showed is up. an unexpected nice surprise. Surprise. Sounds like you guys are having an awfully good time in here. And I was next door doing the Gallagher show, and I said, I've got to go over and see what they're doing. And I want to know how many people here have read my book. How many people? Come on. Mike, Frank, how many people Mike, actually read it? Joanne said she didn't know that Mike could read. Mike, can you read? I can read. I just saw an off, off the record today, and we all should go out and buy the book <laughs> she, because she. She didn't even ask the guy if he read the book. She asked the guy if he can read. Like, come on, that's funny. You're a great lady. I need to dance with you. Well, I'll tell you what the deal is. All right, let's see if this you guy gets to dance with her. He wants to dance with and her. And I dance with you. Yeah! I'm not a cool dancer, so I'll give it a shot. All right, let's Girl, see how she dances. It should be good. Twice. Look at that, look at that. He's getting low, he's getting low, he's getting low. Look at that chick, look at that chick, look at that chick. The guy in the white hat in the back is jealous. Look at him, he gave her a little twirl. This guy's excited. If this was a place that anybody could go, like you wanted to try to be a dancer, you would apply and get on. They, you know, they'd be a lineup of people, and then they'd, you know, handpick people, and they'd go like, okay, so there's like a bunch of regulars, but then you come looking good and whatever, you'd get on the show, and you're dancing on national TV. You know, it's crazy. It's such a great idea. It was so innovative back then. It was bringing out a whole club culture that was kind of underground back then, kind of bringing it out to the mainstream, right? Like it put Toronto on the map because it was actually being broadcast in the States as well. I miss those days. I really do because it was organic. You, you talk to people. It was human interaction. I mean, live people, you know, thousands of people outside every week live with social media and everybody's to themselves and everybody's behind the screen and their phone and it's just not the same and so it's like a time that it's an era that's like missed thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please fist bump that like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and if you have any stories from electric circus please let me know in the comments thank you